Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. I know what you did. Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am, at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. <laughs> Check out the new kid.
what time it is. Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid. Beat him down. young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a You're soldier. really making me angry, okay? I'm not one of these guys who can't fight. You okay? Man, Shut man, up! Someone died See you later, I guess. All the carnival people did was pose the ride no off way is right, and starting back up again. Have you ever kissed a girl? Such a good movie! <laughs> You should probably now. change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Liquid sugar is healthy, isn't it? I've been thinking a lot about smells. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete, Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already.
That's not trash. This is for you! Uh-oh, <laughs> lovely weather. Oh, hey, Jimmy, let me show you around this prison. Check this out, fool. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. You like to eat fist? Please don't hurt me. You can't now! Come on, just leave me alone. Scar's face! Kneel before Russell! Next time you get four doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. supposed to be doing that. Look at the oh, new kid. Right. What a fool. That better not be dumb. Are you Three saying I'm five not five manly enough? Why is she leaving? Ah! Why? Butts are gonna hey. roll! Oh, Don't hurt are you each other too yet? much! Your mama hits better. I I better so Split his wing. You're in trouble. Jimmy, follow me. Oh, man! There's that weird chick, Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Go! See what she wants. How you doing? <laughs> he took my chocolate! Please get it back! I can't I wait to get out of this place! There he is! Show him what you're made of, Jimmy! Chocolate, if you pay. Oh, I didn't want them Jimmy, anyway. You're such a loser. I wish. Time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. 
Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Fascinating, isn't it? Very good. I'll see you next time. I rule! My work here is done. You know you look silly. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up! Screw you, new kid! This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not- Ow! Ah! <laughs> come here, you little- Yeah, come and get me! You're a whip, new kid!
Jimmy Hopkins delivers. <sighs> Real tough chick. Those other girls are just jealous. <laughs> So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey, you were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude, chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend.
Genius. Genius right? Lying around. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm friends. Friends are for the weak. I keep imagining myself in charge of a large. Not bad. and Jimmy Hopkins. So, you're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. 
Just that you're friends with that sociopath Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay... <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I always wondered what it'd be like to be big and tough and really stupid. Hey, Algernon, I heard you let your bed. My mom calls me Prince Algy. She says I'm really special. Blood like a prince Algy. Hey, Algernon. I heard I you wet your bed again. <laughs> I already wet myself once this month. If I do it again, they'll never let me hear the end. Really need to beat someone soon. Be a cardiovascular surgeon or a neurologist. I do not want to be just 
Here it is! Thanks, Jimmy! Here's the cash! I'll tell my mom that not everyone at Bullworth is mean! <laughs> Glad that's done. No need for complex reasons where civil you suck so much you see the This might come in handy. Check this out. After a while, sir. crocodile! A bee? Galloway ought to be fired! Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. This is gonna be fun! Harassing some old homeless guy is fun? It is! And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. I guess. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you oh, little oh. scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live Shut on campus. Up. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. 
When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. I think Galloway is read through my essay just because I handed it in my brother's old one. Transistor when you come back. Another good deed done. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out. Stop, Gary. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So, tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get, that fuel your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or... Wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening Ow. him up. Ow. Turning him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, oh, peace stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, Ow. peace stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you gonna do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. <Boop>. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Come 
on, Bucky, fight back. I'm gonna make you and your boyfriend pay. I'm gonna make you the laughing stock of the school. in handy. Nice to know there's a violent, crazy old man on campus. Thanks, Timmy. That's great. Here, take this. Hopkins comes through. I don't ever want to graduate and give up being a prefect. Jimmy, we gotta do this. I'll do it. Thanks.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. I look like an idiot, but I'm a nice guy. Trust me. I really me. love bunnies. They're so nice. Just wanted to show you I care. Oh, Jimmy, that's so nice of you. You got something on your lips. <clears throat> oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? It was easy! I'm good. That's all there is to it. Word up, Coolio! Right, right. 